Okay, now I'm going to go on and I'm going to show you the riff for King Nothing by Metallica. Okay, what we're going to be doing here, normally you'd have to tune down a half step. I'm just going to be in standard tuning for this right now. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the sixth string open. I'm going to go to the fifth fret of the fifth string. I'm going to press on that with my first finger and I'm going to pluck those two strings at the same time. Kind of a weird sound. Okay, now while I'm pressing on that fifth string, remember what I'm trying to do is deaden out all the strings underneath with my index finger. So I'm going to go five, and then I'm going to go to the sixth fret of the fifth string with my middle finger. So I can leave the five there because I'm going in front of it with my sixth finger. So I'm going to go, and I'm going to pluck the sixth string every time along with those notes. So the next thing to do is to add on the third or ring finger on the seventh fret of the fifth string. See that? So that's the intro riff okay, to that song. So we're going five, six, seven. And notice how I'm just leaving the fingers down as I move. Okay. So start off by just trying to get used to strumming just those strings. Okay. And then when I'm done, I want to stop those strings from vibrating. So I don't want to go and just leave it out. I want to stop them. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the seventh fret again of the third uh, with my third finger on the fifth string. Then I'm going to go to the 5th fret of the 4th string with my 1st finger, and then back to the 7th. So I have, okay. So think of this as groups of 3. So I have 5, 6, 7 on the 5th string with the 6th string in the, in the bass. And then 7, 5, 7. And then 7, 5, 7 again. So I have, okay. Now, there's some palm meeting and stuff we'll get into in just a second here, but... And then right after that, I'm going to head over to the 6th fret of the 6th string with my index finger. And I'm going to play what's called octaves. I'm going to go to the 8th fret of the 4th string with my ring finger. Okay. Now, I could use my pinky if I wanted to, whatever's more comfortable for you. But I'm going to play the 6th fret of the 6th string and then the 8th fret of the 4th string. Just those two. Okay, and then I'm going to move back to the 5th fret and do the same thing, 5 to 7, 6th string to 4th string. So it sounds like this. I have the first group of 3, the second group of 3, again, and then the octaves. So putting the whole thing together, it sounds like this. Now we call that string skipping when I do these octaves because I have to skip over the 5th string. So I have to be careful not to hit that string when I'm jumping over it. Okay, so again, a great starter song to learn how to play. Uh, just getting used to the main riff for it. Okay, so study this first part, this five, six, seven, and then that little connection part in the middle, and then the octaves. So again, one more time, here's what it looks like, nice and slow. And remember, it doesn't matter if you use your third or your pinky, whatever's most comfortable for you.